Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to update the latest version of iTunes on Windows. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So how do you update your iTunes to the latest version? So this one is pretty easy. So first thing you want to do is you want to open up your iTunes application. Now from here, we first have to see what is our current version. So at the top left of your screen, you should be able to see the help option here. And whenever we click on the about iTunes here, we'll be able to see the current version that we are running. So currently the version that we are running is 12.10.11.2. So the latest updates uh, or the uh, current latest update right now, as of the making of this video, is going to be 12.12. 12 12.12 12. so we want to update that so first thing is we want to exit this one let's go back to help and under help you should be able to see the option that says check for updates so go ahead and click for check for updates it's going to notify you a new version of itunes 12.12.10 12. is available so would you like to download it now so go ahead and just click on download itunes and it's going to basically start the update process so just wait for it to complete now from here, it's going to put up another application. You just need to click on it at the bottom of your screen. And from here, what you need to do is you need to make sure that you add a check mark here, but it's automatically added. And from here, just click on install one item. Now here it's going to ask permission, just click on yes. And it's going to start the update process. So from here, just wait for the download to complete. But once download is complete, just hit on the install button that you see at the bottom right of this UI here. Now, once the installation is complete, it's going to say to finish installing the software, you need to restart your computer. So click on yes to restart now and no if you plan to manually restart. So for now, let's just click on no, but I would suggest you to click on yes. So once you've done that, it's going to give you this pop up here checking for new software. So just wait for it. So it's going to say your software is up to date and just click on OK. Now from here, let's just open up iTunes. And once iTunes but boots up, you want to click on agree. And from here, we want to visit, visit help here. And we want to go back to iTunes. And as you can see, we now have the latest version for iTunes. And that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.